Some of the operations that we do in the Division of Highways lent themselves very readily to telework. Uh, if you're an engineer and you design uh, bridges or roadways, you can take your laptop and go right home and keep on working and it's pretty easy, pretty easy to coordinate, pretty easy to track, pretty easy to stay on schedule. Our most vulnerable part of our organization has been our frontline guys, the guys where real work is done, our, uh, our TW workers that are on the ground out there, the guys that pull the ditches, that put in the pipes, that cut the brush, and take care of the roadways on a daily basis. They, uh, they're all uh, report every day into one central place. Uh, we've, we've crowd them into crew cabs and get them out there on the roads to take care, of, take care of the citizens' needs. And it was very, very challenging to find a way to try to keep those folks safe. Uh, we have a very good sound plan going forward. Uh, we have basically split the crews. Uh, for the 14 days, half of our crews will be reporting to home for eight hours a day to work. And what they'll be working on is a very stringent training program that we've put together for them. We've instructed them very clearly that, that they're to be at home working on this, on, on this training. And we'll have, another, we'll have the other half of the workforce back, continuing on to continue on the work of the Division of Highways. Uh, many, many, many of the things that we do are essential services. Uh, there's, there's no way that we can maintain our supply chains across this country without the Division of Highways on the ground, uh, not just in the offices and taking care of permits for truck, truckers and things like that, but to literally make sure that accidents get cleaned up and guardrails get repaired. Uh, issues on the highway are taken care of the way we always take care of them. To do that, you've got to have a good, sound, qualified workforce. I am fortunate to have the best workforce in the country, and they know that they're the best in the country. Uh, they're also going to be some of the best trained when they get back to, when, when they get back to work full time, and uh, we're rolling again, and we, we will be rolling again. We're going to beat this thing because we're going to do the right thing. We're going to follow every one of the governor's suggestions, every one of the governor's orders. We're going to create space. We're going to be safe. We're going to wash our hands. We're going to take make sure that we're not congregating in places, but uh, we're going we're gonna to take care of the highways by separating our workforce and doing it that at some very basic levels all the way up through the organization. Now, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm extremely proud of the Division of Highways today. Uh, for them to step up and lead the way in controlling this outbreak and trying to flatten that curve as, the, as all the experts are telling us, and still continue to be productive, continue to add value to the division. Uh, it's just amazing how, how, how the quality of West Virginians is absolutely, truly amazing. It never ceases to amaze me. For years, I've handled highway incidences with these guys, from floods to derechos, to major snowstorms, to interstates blowing up, rock falls and they always rise to the occasion. And that's exactly what we're doing at every level of this organization today, is rising to the occasion. We're, uh, we're West Virginia Mountaineer strong, and we're, uh, we're leaders, and we care very much about the people that we serve, and we're gonna continue to serve them.